Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. Um, fighting this person right here. Yep, Technicker, whatever. Technicker Kim. It's got a Vulpix, so I'm gonna have to switch out. Don't want to fight it. Oh wait, I got Tsunami up front. I forgot about that. So never mind, I don't have to switch. Well, um, don't want to do that. I like that Vulpix sprite. It's pretty random, but uh, I don't know, I do. It's cool. I notice most people tend to prefer uh, Growlithe over Vulpix, because they're kind of somewhat like parallel to each other because they're usually exclusives in uh, whatever, you know, games of that series. Uh, let's go... But I don't know, I prefer Vulpix myself. Same true. I really do need to be uh, training genius now that I think about it. So I think I think he can probably be pretty useful against Whitney. Okay. Level 12, yep. Awesome. That should be one hit. Yep. I do like Fury Cutter. It's hard to use it on it. I mean, it's really best to use on on a bug type Pokemon that has good attack. You know, other than that, I think it's really not useful at all in this generation. But if you get on the right Pokemon, like a basically you got three options. And that's Beedrill, Scyther, Pinsir. They're really not good on anybody else. Oh, Heracross. And Heracross, of course. That might be actually what it's best used on. But I think it's like generation four or five, one of the two, I don't remember. Uh, it does get boosted like to strength 20 to start out with. Okay, got a switch. Um, yeah, Benny. Funny, I just said I don't want to raise anyone up to the, beyond level 20, but actually would really like to raise uh, Vinny to level 21. I don't think I will, but that would be nice because then it would evolve. That would give me a much better shot against Whitney. Uh, probably just gonna be sitting here missing for a while. Right now, I wish I had Swift. Let's try poison powder. All right. Well, 
Even if we don't hit it with any other attacks, we will have been eventually. Cool. That takes care of that. Okay, genius level 11. Yeah, we'll keep genius out first. We really need a uh, genius to learn something other than just tackle. Like, water gun, confusion, either one is fine with me, but needs to learn one of the two soon. Or headbutt actually would be nice. And I could teach you how but for that I'm almost positive it learns about level up, so that feels like a waste. Okay. Should be able to sweep the rest of his team pretty easily now. Zubat, that will not be difficult. That'll be super effective, but it's so weak it shouldn't do much anyways. Yeah, I didn't think so. Plus, Genius's defense is, is buffed. Next one should get genius to level 12. Oh yeah, definitely. Ooh, level 14 now. Hmm. Let's hope this hits it, takes it out in one hit. No. I'm really worried about magnitude. Okay, good. I was saying, I was worried about a magnitude there and that might have not been the smartest decision to go ahead and attack, but. Oh well. Oh. Uh, well, maybe, maybe this didn't work out one time. We'll see what works out this time too. Of course, now my def uh, attack is lower a couple times. Well, how am I missing all this? Ah, come on. Hmm, I might have to switch here. Yeah, let's just go with Holly. That's what I was afraid. So that would have taken it out right there. Cool. Twelve. Ah, so close to sixteen. This is actually, I think, is this the guy I'm thinking? Yeah. This is one of the more interesting uh, trainers. So you can get their number. He basically just becomes like your ultimate fan. And that's that's pretty much it. It's kind of weird, but it's more entertaining than a lot of the other ones. Well, that'll definitely be one shot, considering it's only level two. All those guys is four Voltorbs who just get stronger each level. I think they all go up by four.
<laughs> yeah, they all go up by four each time. So the last one will actually, man, it probably still won't be that difficult. Because it's not like it will have the electric attacks. This is before Spark. So I don't like Voltor or even learns any electric attacks by level up. Should definitely get there after I take this out. Because those screech, yeah, as I say, it's, oh, that's a critical hit. So actually, that's okay. Non critical hit won't do that much. Mm. Might now, though. Oh, he used stupid and used Screech. Because my defense is already as low as it's going to go, pretty much, I think. Oh man, it misses so much. Ugh. Do I want to... Maybe I should heal. Okay, let's actually hit, please. There we go. I don't know if I want to get his number because he does call you all the time. But, eh, yeah, what the heck. Switch somebody else up front. Oh, this other guy's got fire types, so. Should probably be Tsunami. I think it's two Magmars, I think is what he's got. Actually, he's pretty strong when you think about it. I hope this doesn't poison Tsunami. That'll be annoying. Let's see how much that does. Uh, that's a critical light, okay. That's going to do a bit more, though. So I'll have to switch after this one. Hmm, who do I switch to, though? That's a good question. It was higher level as well. Huh. This is tricky. We're all weak to fire. You know what? I'm not gonna switch. I'm gonna have to just heal. Um, any hit points? Okay, so fresh water will do it. That's all these critical hits, come on. And it's faster as well. So heal again.
Okay, that's good. That's a, that's a good, uh, good break right there. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, but this should take it out right here. So all I gotta do is survive whatever it throws in. Oh, smog, okay. Ugh, this was a little bit closer um, than I thought it would be. Yeah, I got a major problem with rock and fire type Pokemon on the, with this team. But it shouldn't stay that way. Once um, Genius has some water attacks as well, it'll kind of balance out. Plus, um, well, no, Rock's not really that big a deal because I forgot about Vinny, yes, yeah, so it's really just fire. Could be a problem. Um, could use the antidote. Well, here's our encounter here. Oh, Growlithe. Well, this is probably not good, actually. I don't think a water gun will take it out one hit. I'm gonna risk it. And chances are it's just gonna use Roar anyways, so... Yeah. Oh well. So this guy's got a Venonat, I remember that. I think, I didn't get his number, I don't remember what he does. I think this guy might be the Professor Oak fanboy. until Holly evolves. Um, oh, I should probably bought us some stupid. Did I ever check what was in the PC the last thing she bought? I don't remember. Right, I'll check I'll, when I go back there. It's probably just like a potion or a Something like that. Let's see what's this? Team of four. Don't remember what that is. Ooh, roll out. Anyone learn that? Nope. Well, let's see who can learn mud slap actually. Um, Holly, Tsunami, and Genius. Okay. Mud Slap is interesting for this next gym. Because if I can kind of ruin um, ruin uh, what's it called? Miltank's uh, accuracy. That gives us the uh, no, I want you up front. Because it's a good shot, because the main problem is the rollout. So if it can't get consecutive rollouts going, uh, then that's uh, because it's a good chance against it. So maybe I should teach somebody. But say I don't want to teach it to Holly because it's a flying type. Oh, who are we going to go with here? And if it's a, as a flying type, I mean, even just one rollout from mill tank will do some major damage. So it makes more sense to teach it to Genius or Tsunami. So 
So I might do that. That's definitely something to think about. What else do you got? Oh, Pidgeotto. There's one thing that's weird about these Pokemon games. And it's just, I mean, it's an RPG. It's just kind of the nature of, of these type of games. But if you think about it, this guy has the exact same team as Falconer, right? But he's higher level. Why isn't he the gym leader? You know what I mean? Like, doesn't make a lot of sense how, like, how is somebody who's got a Pokemon level 7 or a Pokemon level 9 the gym leader of a town? I always thought it'd be kind of interesting if they did a Pokemon game. Um, I'm kind of getting, I should heal here. Run out of healing items though. Usually they did a Pokemon game where there was no levels involved, you know? It's just purely skill-based, or... So, like, battles were fought in real time, and... You just had your... Whatever move sets, you know, you have to teach them, and you just went at it like that, you know? And then just the challenge would be that, you know, as you progress through the game, the gym leaders would be... Uh, you know, better AI, better move sets, you know, there wouldn't be, like, a... Uh, level progression system, which I know most people like, and it works well for these type of games, but I don't know why there hasn't been any type of uh, variety, you know? Like, that's, why not a game like that? Why not something that's just different, that has uh, different um, elements, you know? Instead of just literally, you know, repackaging the same game. I know I've said this before, you know, earlier uh, episode, but I mean, essentially, that's what it is. It's just repackaging the same game. I'm gonna have to heal again here. I like other healing items though. All right, well, it's kind of like a waste of money, but. And I healed the wrong. Well, this better not do 16 points of damage. But yeah, I mean, just something like, I don't know, I know it's like, if it's not broken, don't fix it in that whole mentality, which I don't necessarily agree with all the time. But, clearly Nintendo is just, you know, selling, reselling the same game all the time because it's going to make them money, and people are buying it. I mean, sure, Pokemon is pretty much just almost as popular as it's ever been, even though they've changed sort of the, I think that, uh, the target audience a little bit. I think it's just gotten younger. And more directed towards girls than it's ever been before. Which is just a smart marketing move, honestly. Um, who do I have up front? Let's put Holly up front. In case you're running it, they make sure we're fast enough to get away. But yeah, it's a smart marketing move when you think about the fact that most, you know, boys these ages, but you know, this age between or between ages like, you know, what's the title? Like, you know, ten to eighteen, let's say. Even though that's probably younger than that. Probably more like Seven, eight to well, like thirteen, something like that. You know, well, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, in that age range, they're probably more likely to be playing games like um, first-person shooter games, Minecraft. Um, I don't think Pokemon is really the uh, the biggest um, seller for that demographic. I think they're probably thinking, well. They could, you know, really. What's the word I'm looking for? Focus on like, um, you know, the cute, cutesy elements of it, the collecting and the um, 
What was that thing they added in sixth generation? Where it's like, I don't remember. They had some new mode. It's almost like it kind of when I read about it, it reminded me a little bit like you know, like virtual pet kind of thing. But that's where I think they're where they're going is more of the virtual pet and away from like a, a strategic RPG game, which I mean, Pokemon was always very casual to begin with, um, unless you get into like competitive battling, but that's not my thing. Um, but as like as the game goes, as the story mode goes, that's just the way it is, and that's fine. Um, but I've noticed I've noticed just a subtle like. Uh, trend or that seems to be where it's going you know drifting away from the battling and that type of focus and more on um those type of elements you know virtual pet type things and also like you know the collecting the collecting aspect is obviously huge which even though that's what you're into that's fine not exactly what i personally enjoy about it but that's cool um We've been recording for about 25 minutes now, so I think I'll call this an episode. Kind of got off on a little uh, nonsense run there real quick, but that's okay. So, yeah, I mean, with Pokemon, I feel like that's what you kind of got to do is you got to ramble a little bit because it's not like the gameplay is all that exciting. So, yeah, that's uh, that's going to be for this one, though, and uh, I'll, I'll see you all in the next one. So, thanks for watching.